Hey everybody, so today I have a couple of Forschlag camera plates in front of us and they are from two different sets and what I wanted to show you was that this left one here is the latest version of their camera plate which came out about May of 2021. In general, you can see it looks mostly the same, but there is one big difference, and that is how much camera adjustment we have. You can see that this, uh, you know, where the monoball is on it, is far further over to the side than it is on the plate to the right, which is the older version. The older version of the plate had about 18 millimeters of uh, camber adjustment, or sorry, 18 millimeters of sliding adjustment here at the top. And this new version can go all the way to 32 millimeters of uh, travel at the top, so quite a bit more. Aside from that though, the plates are mostly the same. But uh, I guess one thing I do also want to show you is just kind of the difference between a stock spring perch uh, camera plate from Forschlag and one meant for coilovers or coilover springs. And so, uh, you know, I, I've disassembled this a little bit, but the way that the coilover one works is you have this uh, thrust bearing which slots into the monoball and then a spring perch which I've taken off of this so we can see it a little bit better then slides on to the uh, thrust bearing and the thrust bearings that Forschlag uses are super high quality these things are just so incredibly smooth very well sealed um, you know I, I, I really like these it's a lower you know there's a lot less susceptibility to having noise um, but the one downside is is the load from the spring goes into the thrust bearing piece into here, which goes into the monoball. So the monoball takes all of the load of the spring. Now, Forschlag uses a much larger monoball than other camera plate manufacturers, so it should have a much higher load rating. That said, you know, it's still not the best idea to load it that way. If we look over at the stock spring perch, um, we can see that, you know, it's still on a thrust bearing. And uh, I've gone ahead and taken apart the other camber plate to kind of show you how this uh, works. But there is a difference here. So if we look and we see the thrust bearing, it mates up to this bottom, you know, this bottom plate piece, which you know is this one right here. And uh, so what that means is, is the mono ball on the stock spring perch version is not taking any load from the spring. It's only taking the damper. Uh, shock shaft uh, load, which you know any camera plate is going to do. So um, this design overall is, uh, is, is less, uh, less wearing on the mono wall and uh, it still retains you know, the really nice thrust bearing, super smooth, well sealed design. So another thing I'd like to show you is the stack height comparison between the Forschlag um, stock spring perch camera plate and the uh, original top mount. So what the stack height is, is that's the thickness from the spring perch to the top of the, uh, the top mount where it uh, interfaces with the shock tower. And when I measured it on this stock one, I got about 25 and a half millimeters thickness. Um, and I was expecting the camera plate to be about the same or greater, but surprisingly, this Forschlag was actually thinner. It was only about 22 and a half millimeters thick uh, from the spring perch um, to the top. So what that means is, is uh, this Forschlag should lower your vehicle by about three millimeters, which is pretty darn insignificant um, if you use it. So now that you've got a decent look at the uh, Forschlag camera plates for the uh, stock spring perch or stock springs, it's time for me to go ahead and put this plate back together and put it into the car.